Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me and I'm going to be using all of my Gucci makeup products. I don't have that many but I saw that I have quite a few lipsticks and I have the different formulations so today I'm going to walk you through the different lipstick formulations of Gucci because I think that they are quite pretty and they would make a nice holiday gift. So that's why I just wanted to share with you my thoughts on the Gucci makeup products that I have. I still didn't purchase the eyeshadow palette because I have been seeing some mixed reviews on the eyeshadow palette. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous and Gucci makeup in general have amazing packaging. So let's go ahead and get started. I wanted to chat a little bit with you and don't forget to join the chat in the comment section below. So I have only my skincare. I'm going to be starting with the, the Gucci foundation and this is Fluid de Beauté. Um, natural finish foundation and I have a full review of this foundation I'm just gonna shake it I haven't used this foundation in a while now look at this absolutely beautiful packaging I really enjoy it so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this foundation and I'm going to just um, chat with you so about this foundation I had some mixed feelings and I thought I'm going to be using it because I, because I see some people recommending this foundation and I was not very impressed with it but uh, of course, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I'm very demanding when it comes to my complexion products. And usually um, I like to use the same complexion products over and over again. And I rarely would start using a foundation every single day unless it is absolutely perfect. So I thought let's go ahead and revisit this foundation because I reviewed this foundation. I wore the foundation for a week approximately just um, for the purpose of the review and then I just stuck it in my in the back of a drawer where I keep my foundations and I haven't been using it since. So there was something that I just didn't really love about this foundation and I'm going to revisit now. Now this is a very scented foundation. It has the same scent as the powder. Um, so this foundation has a very strong floral scent which I love. <laughs> so I'm not bothered by fragrances in makeup products. I'd say that I'm more bothered in um, fragrances in skincare sometimes because they don't really enjoy. I have sensitive skin. So. Now let's go ahead and test this really properly with my magnifying mirror and I definitely need to work a little bit more. I saw that Andrea Ali was recommending this foundation like so passionately but then I don't usually like necessarily I don't like all of the products that she's recommending probably we have a completely different skin types and I thought let's go ahead and revisit but really not my favorite foundation to be honest with you guys it's um it just doesn't create that really super flawless canvas that I like it does tend to stick a little bit into pores and my skin is in a good condition I generally don't have a lot of issues so um, it definitely is not my first choice for foundation. I think that they can work a little bit more on this foundation. The shade range is very impressive, I have to say. The scent of the foundation, it is a liquid foundation. It's really, really beautiful. I'm going to link to my full review in case you're interested. So I find that with foundations that are a little bit harder to apply, I find that the best way to apply them is if I use small amount and just pat with my fingers. But then, would I recommend this foundation? Go ahead and get this foundation. Mm. Considering that I haven't used it for so many months, I think that I'm gonna skip it. So I wanted to talk to you about something. I was thinking to start doing YouTube live events. So I wanted to ask you, what's your opinion on that? What do you think about YouTube lives? And when should I do them? Should I do them? I think that the weekend is probably going to be the best time when we can all hang out together and I can get a little bit more personal with you and we can uh, be more friendly that way. So let me know what you think of YouTube live events. Would you like me to start doing um, YouTube live? And what are your thoughts? So I'm not gonna lie, I absolutely love the packaging, I love the scent of the foundation, I love the consistency of the foundation and then when I start applying the foundation, bam, that's when I start avoiding this foundation just because it doesn't really smooth my skin and I have good skin, I have really good skin and it doesn't really help to smooth my skin 
I feel like if you have more dilated pores or if you have some issues on the skin where you have, for example, dry patches or any kind of issues on the skin, I feel like this is not going to be the best um, foundation. Still, um, they can work. So they are new to makeup and their packaging is so stunning. And I definitely think that they can work a little bit more on the quality of the products. They just don't get it the way I like it. But this shouldn't put you off trying this foundation, of course. We are all different and there are different people that are going to love this foundation. So um, I'm just sharing with you my honest personal opinion about this foundation, but not very impressed. So I'm going to write all of the products that I use on my face. I'm going to write them in the description box um, so that you know what I'm using. Right now I'm using the Chanel concealer. So now I'm going to be using the Gucci powder and I adore the packaging of this powder, it's so beautiful. This is the most beautiful powder in my whole collection in terms of packaging. In terms of performance, I like to apply it with a dry sponge just so that I can press the product into my pores. Now be careful with this powder because you, can, you have to use very clean tools otherwise you might hit a hard pan on this powder. The packaging is so pretty, it's so beautiful. And then you have this little compartment and the puff and everything. I mean, everything about the packaging of this powder is so beautiful, a little bit vintage. So for my eyes, I want to be using the Dior Clutch Palette and I'm very tempted to use this color. This is basically like a shimmery color, but I'm still afraid to use it because of the problems that I have with my eyes. So I will have to skip it, but this is my favorite shade. Like I really, really like it. That's why I'm going to go ahead and use this shade here. So the reason why I wanted to start doing YouTube lives is because I feel like we're going to be able to connect much better and I'm going to have more interaction with you during the live event. We can talk about makeup products. Um, we can chat about anything that you like and of course I'm going to prepare myself. I'm going to get some products I can compare for you. So I think that it's going to be fun. Let me know what you think and also let me know what time is going to work for you. So I'm just going to be applying this color all over my eyelid. I absolutely love it and I'm so, so tempted to use, and I'm so incredibly tempted to use the glittery shade because I love it. Next, I'm going to go ahead and use the brown shade. This is the matte brown color. I'm going to tap actually the excess on the back of my hand I'm going to darken the shade here. Let me know what's your favorite holiday release and are you excited for the holiday season? Are you shopping actually for the holiday season or do you prefer to shop in the last minute? I am kind of both and sometimes I would get my gifts very early and sometimes I would just wait until the last minute. Now I'm getting a blending brush and I'm going to blend everything. And usually I like to focus the dark shade only on the outer part of the eye because it kind of helps to elongate the eye a little bit, which is an effect that I like. So that's why I'm blending only in outwards direction because if I start blending back and forth, I'm going to get the dark color all over the eyelid, which is something that I don't want right now. I only want to keep the dark color in the outer part of my crease. So that's why I'm blending in outward direction. Now my lips feel a little bit dry, so that's why I'm going to apply a little bit of lipstick. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be using this lipstick for this look in particular, but I promise that I'm going to give you a quick review of all of the Gucci lipstick formulations that I have. And this is the sheer lipstick. It's, so this lipstick is 213, love is better. And it's a very pretty light mauve color that I like to use for every day. So this color is very moisturizing. I'm just going to add a little bit more darkness right close to the lash line on the outer part of my eye. And, and then with the same matte brown color, I'm going to line my lower lash line. And here, customize the look so that it suits your skin tone. 
you can go much darker. This palette is gorgeous for everyday looks, but you can also go really dark, smoky. These are timeless colors. And also I like the packaging because here we have the Dior Flag Store in Paris and it reminds me of Paris. I get to keep the beautiful packaging. I think that this year Dior did an amazing job with their makeup collection and with the packaging. It is too beautiful to skip. So now we go ahead and I am going to line my lower lash line. I have to be very careful here because this is for someone who has sensitive eyes, those of you who have sensitive eyes, you're going to understand me. You basically never know what's going to happen when you start lining your, li your eyes and you never know when your eyes are going to get irritated. And so that's why I'm extremely careful. So that's what I have so far. And now I'm going to be using a little bit of this bronzy shade here just to help blending the colors and to kind of help the colors, let's say, to marry together. So I'm just going to apply, I'm tapping the excess on the back of my hand and just applying a little bit here to help with the blending, but I barely have any color. This is just for, for the blending purposes and for more seamless blending of the colors. Then once again, I'm going to blend and here. You just have to work with, um, with what's happening on your eye to customize the look to your liking. Then again, going back with this pale color, this time with my finger, just going to emphasize this beige color a little bit on my eyelid and make it more vibrant because I can't use the glittery shade. But if you can here, Definitely go ahead and use the glittery shade because it's going to make a huge difference. You just have to still have to be careful with my eyes and that's why I'm not using it. Now I'm going to pause the video to curl my lashes because it's going to take me a long time to curl my eyelashes. So this is with the mascara on and now I'm going to move on to blush. I don't know if I want to add a little bit more makeup to my eyes. I think I'm going to leave it here because this is a daytime look and for blush, I'm going to be using one of my all-time favorite blushes and this is from Chanel and it's Elegance. It is a very lovely shade that it's a little bit hard to find this shade, but I'm going to have a link in the description box. It's still, you can find it. I actually filmed a video comparing some similar shades of Chanel blushes and I know that this one is not easy to find, especially in the US. It is easy to find in Europe, but not in the US. So that's why I filmed the comparison video to show you other shades that could be like alternatives of this blush again from the Chanel Jeux Contrast line. I love the Chanel blushes and this is from the old formula of the Chanel blushes. Then for highlighter I'm going to be using my favorite Hermes highlighter. I really love this one. I have a review and I also compared this highlighter to other similar ones in my collection. So I'm going to link to those videos because this one is quite pricey. For me, it is worth the splurge because I really like it and I enjoy it every time when I use it. But then it is quite pricey. So I think that this highlighter, the Hermes highlighter, is going to make an incredible Christmas gift, if you ask me. But of course, everyone is different. So I think that for a Christmas gift, it's going to be absolutely excellent. And now I would like to show you the different Gucci lipstick formulations that I have. And I have five different formulations, Gucci lipsticks. You can tell that I love the Gucci lipsticks because I think that they have beautiful packaging. I think that their lipsticks are some of their best makeup products. Now about the foundation, I think that they definitely have to work and they can work on the improvement and they can make the formula of the foundation much better. There is room for improvement when it comes to the foundation. About the powder, the packaging, again, absolutely stunning, beautiful, gorgeous, but the powder, I would assess the powder like probably six or seven out of 10. Keep in mind that I'm very demanding when it comes to powder. It is a good one. You have to apply it with a dry sponge and it it works really nice. However, it is not super incredibly flawless um, on the skin and I'm very demanding when it comes to powder. Now about the lipsticks, 
I absolutely love them, I love all of them. And now I'm going to give you a quick review because I think that the Gucci lipsticks are going to make excellent holiday gift for someone just because the packaging is absolutely stunning and then the quality of the product is top. Like I would assess them 10 out of 10. Now let's go ahead and start with the only formulation that I don't have from Gucci are their tinted lip balms. Apart from them, I have all the other lipstick formulations and now I'm going to go ahead and tell you one by one. Now, first of all, let's go ahead and start with their sheer lipstick. And this is probably my favorite one. This is the one that I applied today. So this is their sheer lip color and I absolutely love it because it has luminous finish. And at the same time, it somehow hugs the lips and it moisturizes the lips. It keeps the lips moisturized all day long. At the same time, it does have enough color, as you can see. I absolutely love, probably this is one of my favorite um, lipstick formulations of all times because it is very cr creamy. It's very creamy, it feels nourishing, and it's luminous. It almost feels like a lip balm on my lips. And uh, I can wear this lipstick actually instead of a lip balm because it gives me enough color. And it nourishes my lips very well, and I have very sensitive lips unfortunately. Next comes their Luminous lipstick and the packaging is absolutely stunning once again and this is the Luminous lipstick so this has intense luminous color and the color of this lipstick is very intense it's one of my favorite lipstick formulations and I have it in Luisa Red which is this dark deep dark burgundy color I'm going to show you it is a beautiful statement color it has luminous finish, but it has a lot more color than the previous lipstick that I showed you. So this is a real, true luminous lipstick with um, intense color. Next comes their matte lipstick. I have the shade they met in Argentina, which is a statement nude color. Let me go ahead and show you the packaging. So once again, the packaging is absolutely gorgeous and the formulation is excellent because it doesn't dry the lips. It almost has, it almost has like a velvet finish. It is so creamy and it glides on the lips so easily. It fills also those little lines in the lips. It helps to fill them in and it is just not drying. So usually when I'm wearing a matte lipstick, I always feel the need and I always feel the urge to apply a little bit of lip balm before applying my matte lipstick. With this, I don't feel the need to apply a lip balm underneath or on top just because it is not drying to my lips and this makes the lipstick quite unique and I definitely need to pick more shades but then I'm trying to be good now I, I really have a weak spot when it comes to Gucci lipsticks because I think that this is their makeup product that is absolutely stunning and 100% worth the splurge. Next comes the Glow and Lip Care lipsticks. So these are the sleek lipsticks and I have I think four shades or five shades, I'm not really sure. I have reviewed these lipsticks and I'm going to have a link in the description box so that you can see more shades. But these lipsticks, I love them. Now let me go ahead and show you how it looks. So these lipsticks have sheer finish they're not extremely sheer so they are not as sheer as the rouge coco flash you can see that there is a lot of color even though this is one of the nude shades so you can see that even though this is one of the nude shades it has enough color which is something that i truly appreciate and, and these lipsticks have a wet finish on the lips now i like them i absolutely love also the packaging but if I have to rank and if I have to choose between those two, I would definitely go for this one. And I don't know why I have five, four or five shades of this and I have only one of this, go figure. But this one is definitely the formulation that I prefer just because it is not as slippery. So this one does feel a little bit slippery on the lips and especially if you start building up the color, it has that very wet finish. Whereas this one has a luminous sheer finish and I truly love this finish. And then the last one that I have, this is the glittery lipstick, which to be honest, I'm not this kind of person. I, I never wore this actually. I wore this only once for a YouTube video, but I really don't enjoy this kind of thing you're going to see it looks very impressive and on photos it looks so impressive 
so it has the, that glitter all around. It is just very spectacular to look at with all those little glitters and the camera right now is not doing justice, I have to say. So if you see this in person, it just has all of those tiny little glitters. But then on the lips, I'm not a huge fan. Or probably I should have picked a different shade, but this pink shade it is just way too pink for my liking. I don't even know why I picked this up. I thought it was going to be a little bit darker, a little bit deeper, but it's actually quite pink. And probably I should try some of the different shades, some of the other shades, probably if it's a little bit more brown or if it's red, it's going to be more easy to wear for me personally. Now, if you like this kind of glittery, shade i think you're going to enjoy this one so this is my short review of the gucci lipstick and the different lipstick formulations from gucci i think that their lipsticks are absolutely amazing i love them I, i'm still undecided about the eyeshadow palette should i get it or should i wait i don't know the packaging is absolutely gorgeous let me know what you think in the comment section below also don't forget to let me know if you've tried already the eyeshadow palette from gucci what do you think is it worth the high price tag or not should i buy or should i skip let me know I would love to know your opinion. Thank you so much for spending time with me and if you haven't subscribed already please go ahead and subscribe and also follow me on Instagram. I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, bye!